Hey. Hey, here he is. Tipster's biggest fan. How's it going? Yep. Dude, when I cover this, it's fat on fat on fat violence. Because it's me covering Boogie covering Tipster. <laughs> Oh, so wait, wait, you're gonna cover this? What? That's crazy. Why would you do that? <laughs> I tweeted at you tongue in cheek. I'm like, wow, Chad, talking yeah, about saw, Tipster again. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's so pathetic. He can't stay out of the news. I did, look, at the end of the day, I still stand by the fact that like he gets way more attention than he, he should for the size he is. Well, well he shouldn't get any attention. Like, but... He's just like he's turbo set to like continue right like typing stupid shit online. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, is like it's clear they like, threw himself into the HD situation, and now he's throwing himself against Boogie, right? Yeah. And he kind of got wrecked by him. I thought. We, you know, Tipster's not like a grifter. I don't agree with that terminology. I don't think Tipster's a grifter. If he was a grifter, he's a really dumb grifter because he's not making any money. Um, I don't know what he's doing. If he, if he was grifting, he would make more money and he would be more respected. Uh, I don't think he was grifting when he did commentary and I don't think he's grifting now. I just think he's like... I think he's a lol cow. I think he's made... He was put on this earth, God's green earth, for people to make fun of him 24 hours a day until he hides offline. Okay. But, okay. Why? Because he keeps so. writing stupid shit online. Like, it's it's so easy. Like, I don't have to, like, go out of my way to, like, figure something out to talk about. Tipster types like an old man, so all of his tweets are immediately hilarious, right? He did, like, the defuck lol. He would post, like, grotesque images of himself as a reply meme for a long time until people bullied him or whatever. Like, everything he tweets looks like your grandfather okay, wrote that's it, wonderful. okay? But how do I and then he attaches himself to all of the worst people possible. He's like, God, I hate toxic people. I'm going to go be friends with Keffels. Like, that's hilarious. I, the, the commentary writers could not have made a better script than for that. Okay, I wanted to uh, listen while you're here. If you got time, I'd like to uh, just hear a breakdown of this tweet, and you can explain to me why you think it's so bad. Okay, I probably sure. agree with you, but I just want to know your you're the tipster expert at the end of the day. Okay, the boogie one or the tipster one? Because I hate both of them. Okay, well let's start off with uh, the tipster's response to boogie first. Right? Sure. But before we yes. do, I just want to quickly let everyone know that uh, Keffels, who obviously quit drama, is uh, doing a stream with what is alleged to be Stone Toss's full name in the title. <laughs> Well, I mean, if she loses her YouTube, that's on her. I don't know. I mean, that seems like a bit risky, but I don't know how. I mean, on Twitter, it. everyone on Twitter lost their accounts if they posted that. Yeah, what do you make of the argument though? That um, oh, well, it's out there now, and newspapers have reported on it. I mean, there's a certain degree of that when it's out in the newspapers and stuff. I I kind of get it more, but I don't know. The reason why it's in there is very different. It's it's literally in there as like a. As like a gotcha, like oh, I got your name. Again, my uh, thoughts on Keffels are more skewed because of things I know about Keffels. Uh, so this is not very surprising to me. It might be for others, but not for me. I think that she's like literally trans Kiwi Farms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So let's start off at the beginning because, uh, yeah, the boogie sure. thing. First of all, he tweeted out about the white gamer thing. Okay. Yeah. So, what? T tell me about that. What do you think about that? Uh, Boogie, I think, is... So, I, I followed Boogie long enough to know that he probably doesn't give a fuck about any of this, and he's probably drumming up support for his podcast. Uh, typically, I argue that this... Uh, what is this fucking thing? Sweet Baby Ink stuff is actually pretty bad for gaming. I think... I, I've been going on streams... I, I did this bit on your stream where I went through and I explained um, my issues with the Spider-Man franchise with Insomniac Game Studios and stuff like that. Um... And I, I think when when Tipster go not Tipster when Boogie I'm sorry when Tipster three Boogie two nine eight eight goes out there and says stuff like, "Dude, I hate that fucking video games are just lecturing you on why it's bad to be white or something." That's not true. Um, yeah. And if it is, he doesn't have an example. Uh, so he's clearly not thinking of something valuable to add to this conversation. He's clearly just making a mockery out of an argument that I actually agree with in, in terms of like. I think the sweet baby ink stuff is bad, but the way he's writing this is, it's just like, uh, I need, I need somebody, I need, I mean, I'm sure he called Keemstar, he goes, I got a viral tweet, guys. All right, we're gonna make a whole episode Dude. about this right there. Guaranteed. Dude, I was saying this earlier, and I actually talked to Tommy C about this, and he was a bit, 
he wasn't like evasive necessarily, but he wasn't really willing to kind of bite the bullet so hard on it. But I think it's pretty obvious that Keem starts coaching Boogie, right? Probably. That's very possible. Um, I know people were asking if I ghost wrote the tweet. I didn't. Uh, it wouldn't have called Tipster a pedophile if, if I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I got so mad last night. I sat there and I made Boogie's tweet, but good. And then I was like, I was sitting there and all of a sudden Asmund Gold liked it. So I don't know how it got to him, but I thought that's hilarious because that guy hates me. Um, I don't know if you saw this. Let me throw this to you. This is Tipster's, oh, not this is Boogie's tweet, but it actually like is an argument. Um, sorry, I have, to, I have to go like sort through all the George not found didn't rape somebody tweets to get to this one. Okay. Uh, here, this is the one. It's a long boy, but you don't have to read it. The idea is that, like, hey, here's exactly what Boogie was trying to tweet, but here's, like, actual arguments, sources to cite my claim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, actually, yeah. I threw this up earlier when I was talking about it earlier. Yeah, because I was just, I was frustrated. I'm like, this is a real issue that I think is actually fucking cringe. So I want to go point, like, point by point by point and explain why one of the companies Sweet Baby Inc. worked on is bad. And people were like, well, Nick, other people have talked about this before. I go, yeah, they've talked about it, but they haven't talked about it in relation to Sweet Baby Inc. And they also haven't pointed out how Sweet Baby Inc. working on this shows that they're not good as a consulting firm. If your job is to consult on current day issues and stuff like that, and you're there to give some sort of like ethnic additions to games to make them more inclusive, then... Doing a Google search to find out if you've placed the Cuban flag in the Puerto, Puerto Rican kid's house is probably like the first thing you should be doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. not a mistake that's easy to make uh, if you're a firm hired to do this. Yeah, and also- so it's, I it's not that they're toxic. It's that they're toxic and they're bad at their job. Sorry. I was going to say, I don't know if you saw this as well. Did you see this uh, tweet from the guy that made the list in the first place? Uh, no, I did not. Just as a quick sign that I just want to get your take on this. So he said, I would like to ask everyone who really cares about what's going on to stop harassing other people. I know how you guys feel. And yes, I'm aware of the articles. But bear in mind, this is not the way to solve anything. Ask them questions, support me and the cause. Spread the word. But by any means, do not harass anyone as responsible as they can be. We do not fight harassment with more harassment with the truth. We are the good guys. Let's make sure that everybody understands that. Okay? Yeah. He's, he's a seems like a generally good person that got caught up in this or whatever. Uh, maybe we'll find out that's not true in a couple months, but yeah. He sounds quite naive, right? That's my kind of take on it. It sounds like he was just like, oh yeah, let's make a Steam list. And all of a sudden now he's being pushed to the forefront as a thought leader. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, you know, yeah. it's like... You, you... <laughs> It's not, it, there shouldn't be like a cause that you're fighting. That sounds gay to me. Yeah, not everyone say. who has problems with stuff like this just hates minorities and fucking trans people. You know, there, there's like degrees to it. I think that if you, if your issue is that Miles Morales is in Spider-Man or something like that, then I don't think there's anybody who can really help you. Um, mm. But like, if your issue is that they fuck up most of their stuff like that, and there's a mission where you play as a black deaf girl and your only job is to spray paint walls, then I think there's a bit more reason to complain <laughs> and the other thing yeah no sure and the other thing as well is like what what do you make of this kind of like oh don't harass people shit i mean yeah i don't know i've said it a hundred thousand times i have a disclaimer on my channel for harassment and stuff like that um i, I don't know it's it, it's naive but the reality is what what's the what do you want them to say all right go out there and go, go for blood <laughs> dox everyone <laughs> No, 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 I guess, okay, I'll just say plainly what I'm thinking. I think the issue that I've got with that part of it, personally, is just, like, you're kind of validating the narrative that there's all these harassers that need to be told to stop, when the reality is it's just some retarded but there are fucking around. there are harassers. Like, that's the issue, because the gaming community, every single time there's a gaming controversy, somebody gets fucking doxxed, some woman who works as a voice actor who had nothing to do with the script gets harassed. Like, that's all it is. I, it happens every single time. That's because, like, in any large-facing community, somebody is harassing somebody. Now, obviously, the media is saying that everyone is harassing this group, which is wrong, and that's what's to push back on. But uh, to also admit that there is harassment that happens, it's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's so brave to say. But, I mean, yeah... It, if you're denying harassment happens at all, you're probably disingenuous. Okay, but I, I guess my point is, if you if you're speaking to the, you know, your your fucking Muadib, do you, do you like June by the way? What? 
the movie June. Have you seen it? Are you into I've it never seen it. No. Okay, well, it that's going to make no bugs? sense to me, right? But you no sense to you. So if you're if you're Muad'Dib speaking to the Fremen, okay, you probably shouldn't be validating the narrative of your enemies in terms of like there's so many fucking doxers and harassers here. Like, why not just say as much as I disavow the dox the harassment, um, most people are not doing it or something like that. Is that not a better way to do it? Yeah, you could. I mean, that's probably a better way to word it. But again, you say this person seems kind of green. Someone in chat yeah, yeah, said sure. harassment or criticism. I just want to address that. Once you get over 1 million likes or something or like on any given subject, somebody's getting doxxed. <laughs> yeah, uh, the odds are it's reached some fucking sector of the Internet where somebody's getting doxxed. Yeah, 100 uh, percent. The majority of it, I'm sure, is critique. Um, but again, like. Once you hit like the big mob of Twitter people that are outside of your user base, it's happening. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, I think we, we kind of got the same take on this. So Boogie is um, possibly coached by Keem to put out kind of hot takes. And when one bites, it goes onto the podcast. That's my kind of view on it. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think he even really believes in that. That's my own personal opinion. It's possible he does, but he didn't give Ooh. a fuck. And he was just wording it in such a way. He probably is a grifter. Um, but like, <laughs> Well, no, I mean, I guess my, my takeaway from it, he maybe agrees, like he probably was fucked over in some of the Game Gate stuff before, but this take here, I mean, this is just such an absurd, ridiculous take that you have lectures about why, why being a white man is bad. That it's I mad when people talk about his girlfriend and then he posts her in like the most disgusting possible pictures for like six months at a time. Like this is all he does is he just takes some stupid fucking current trending issue and Picks, his, uh, picks the wrong side or picks a side that's so dramatically out of context or whatever that you can't even back up with words just to get on where, where you need to go, right? Just to get more attention to him. That's all his channel is these days. He, he had him and Mike Klum lied about how much he spent on hookers to make it go viral on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, right, I'm assuming you've uh, read this tips to tweet a number of yes. times and have memorized it, in fact. <laughs> I um, snorted it. I crushed it up and snorted it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so talk me through this. What's your take on this? Um, <clears throat> so again, I I think Tipster takes this as if this is like a legitimate one hundred percent like boogie secret thoughts came out, and that's uh how I think a lot of like Keffel's tweets read as well. I, I'm yes. reading this as Boogie's a total fraud, and he's been for a really long time. But Tipster's looking at this as if this is the worst thing that's ever happened. Like he's never yes. done anything worse than this. Um, yes. and. and was it the first tweet or the second tweet where he starts talking about like first you you break bread with a pedophile and then you start talking to Nazis on Twitter as if those are comparable things? Uh, oh my God. It's insane to me. And by the way, Nazi defined as people who don't like Sweet Baby Inc. By the way, not Nazis uh, as like sick Hale Hitler shit. Um, yeah, that's the same. If you, if you have a problem with Sweet Baby, you're a pedophile, uh, or you're as worth you're as bad as a pedophile. Um. But yeah, I mean, I mean like, again, I, I don't want to hear Boogie tell anybody about their career being bad or views being away or I mean, it's 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 unreal. Yeah, that's the kind of vibe that I got. It's like it's funny to see someone take it so seriously when you look at it and you go, oh, Boogie's just saying some shit to get attention again. Right. Yeah. And then the wildly unself-aware guy takes it a thousand times more seriously than he <laughs> yeah. and obviously like he's like he, he's literally like in this shit right and then he goes out there and he makes a shitload of arguments that could be like directly applied to himself um yeah absolutely oh, yeah um because and also it's like at the end he's like i hope for your sake the grift is worth it boogie like what are you on about <laughs> I mean, Boogie's a grifter, sure, but like, <laughs> maybe maybe you can, you can't call him a uh, a grifter when he, you know, I said earlier that I don't think he was a grifter in commentary, but he probably was a grifter when he translated from gaming to commentary because his gaming content wasn't getting any views. That's probably a more uh, more apt comparison there, um, because he he you know like yeah, because he argues now that he doesn't really agree with any of the stuff he's done back then. So that's kind of the only way you can classify that, right? Does does he say that? Well, he's gone back and he's disavowed his coverage over Susie Liu when he like interviewed a a lawyer on her copyright and said that he was harassing her, and that's why his channel almost got banned. So, I mean, he's like rewriting history. But if we believe what he says, then yeah, he probably was a grifter when he was hanging around us. Okay, okay. Listen, we don't need to go into the full description. What are the key headlines of the Susie Liu thing? Okay, Susie Liu, large forehead, number one problem. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a big sector of the drama because of John Swan. But uh, basically what she was doing is she DMCA'd a YouTuber who made fun of her in a video. Uh, and in the video that she DMCA'd, it was literally just like a total fair use reaction meme or something like that. So in response, she said, I own the copyright to my face. I can take down your video. After we went and we looked at her account and we noticed she flagged a bunch of creators like Monday and Matt for like cyber bullying and cyber stalking or some shit harassment, uh, violent threats or something like that. Some of them w weren't even applicable if you want to be charitable. Um, she then relinquished her claim on, um, on the person's YouTube channel who was struck. Two years later, we found out that she translated her content into becoming an anime reaction channel where she puts her camera in the bottom and goes, Woo! when stuff would happen in the uh, basically uncut anime. Uh, the, on YouTube, it was cut, but then she was selling basically full episodes where she um, lowered the opacity on her webcam, on her Patreon, basically reselling episodes of Naruto to her audience. So it was a huge stark contrast between I own the copyright to my face, so I have like the legal right to DMCA you, and now I'm freebooting Naruto to my audience two years later. It was wow. really funny. That's crazy. And um, how did yeah. Tipster get involved? Uh, so Tipster um, ran a train, as, as I'm assuming he would say now. Uh, he made like four videos on her, uh, a couple of them critiques, one of which he consulted a lawyer. Uh, and, and during this whole thing, Susie Liu was talking about how she had a YouTube contact, very similar to Mama Max. But when she said stuff like that, videos disappeared. Damn. And after we called her out for it, that suddenly stopped. But Tipster and his interview with a lawyer just disappeared for bullying and harassment. And everyone was like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, there was a bunch of other shit there too. Her husband called in to defend her. And then she said she was walking the dog. That's why she couldn't be in the call. And then she abruptly grabbed the microphone and started yelling at us. Damn. Okay. Yeah. So, so anyway, so your basic take is like tips just trying way too hard, taking this way too seriously. Um, Tipster is, he's getting a thousand lashings. Wait, what does what you want? Tipster is a former concentration camp guard who has been brought over to the woke mob, and in response, he needs to take a thousand lashings before he's allowed to be like a a. a I mean, like if you go look, he's still before kind he's of allowed to taste the sheenus. You mean? Yeah, he's basically giving the same take on Palestine. I, I saw this pop up as like any of us would, and in that camp, that's like a death sentence to say that like people dying is bad. Nobody's, hold nobody's holding him to the fire right now because he's too busy taking a thousand lashings from Keffels. Okay. So anyway, the other thing to look at here then as well is just quickly the uh, response from Boogie, which I'm again, I'm yes. sure you've read. So what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> it's incredible. It's, it's, uh, there are issues with it, I will say. Uh, I don't think I would call him a pedophile. Um, but like, <laughs> it's fucking funny, dude. Let me see. I, I'm, I'm just catching up here. Um, ejected from the community to be a false rainbow flagger. That came star wrote. He had it right there. There's no way. Uh, I'm no grifter. You are a perfect example of the type of person whose politics should stay far away from video games. I don't want you and your pedophilic <laughs> shit away from I mean, Lollicon Tipster, is, that's going to follow him for the rest of his career, so I'm not really broken up about it. Damn. Politely go fuck yourself. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's like it just it seems so crazy the idea that Boogie himself thought this up and wrote this out, right? This this no, has got Keem no Star's way. dirty little fingers all over it, hasn't it? Look at Connor's suite right below that. Have you seen that yet on your channel? Oh yeah, I showed this yet. Yeah. <laughs> One of his close friends, like in his group of mods, all of his close friends were like oh. getting this list of things, and then one of them leaked it to us. Because Why? of course they did. I don't know. I don't know. I actually, I don't, this isn't my leaker. So I don't know how this got out. Uh, Cause this was never sent to me. I have a leaker in tipster camp, but it's not this person. Um, <clears throat> what? But oh my God. I, I, the thing is right. Tipster burns a bridge with one of his last few friends. Like every single time he streams, he went after that saggy melons girl uh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Who the right? fuck is saggy melons? What? One of it, uh, it's, uh, I mean, to be fair, her name is saggy melons. So she has to You're be an a log. You're a tips to a log, bro. Just admit it. Well, no, the mod starts going after him and then she, he unmods her and brings in all of Keffel's mods instead. So the third Reich just like re-entered the chat. 
<laughs> There's like a third right going into France and set up a government, yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. They, they literally sent in like the death squad to come through and start moderating chat better. So like every time Tipster gets into a fight, he loses a few more of his actual friends and then just replaces them with like uh, trans Robocop. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> So, in fact, tell me your take on this then. So, uh, I mean, it seems pretty obvious, right? But this is insane to, like, banish complete topics from your Discord. But, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I would never do this. You know, obviously... This I'm is called... Destiny's Blacklist, but for people who are ashamed that they defended Lollycon and Shotokan <laughs> so many times. True, yeah. Um... <laughs> I mean, he's got all the good... I mean, the thing is, for me, it's like, if you're going to get involved in drama, you've got to expect that your community is going to talk about it. Yeah. And it might get to a point where you get a bit sick of it, but it just seems crazy that you would hardline outlaw it rather than... Chud, I've never once had to reach out to my mods directly and ask them to stop banning people calling me a pedophile in chat. They usually right, just yeah, do yeah. that. That's another good point as well, yeah. <laughs> I've never had to be like, hey, guys, this is a banned topic. Don't call me a pedo. <laughs> Well, the thing is, I'm guessing as well, you probably, I mean, you know, you've obviously got the classic commentary hardline against everything just to be on the safe side, right? But, like, you probably don't get called a pedo that much, I don't imagine. No, yeah, it hasn't become a large enough issue that I would need to address it either. Uh, but most of the time, anyone sees any schizophrenics in chat who are like, I'm going to rape your asshole, Nick, or something, those just get banned. <laughs> okay. uh, but I guess for Tipster, like, either he's run out of friends to moderate his chat or he needed to give, like, an update. And it's like, yeah, uh, anytime. Wait, I, I love this. Um, he he writes like, oh, any commentary creators uh, mentioned that like they're doing it to derail the stream or promote their content or whatever. He says that he wants those people um, timed out. That's not true. No, everyone everyone who writes Nick's name in chat or is known by Nick in person is banned from. Uh, oh damn! Actually, I skipped over this. Yeah, mentions of commentary media. community creators. That yeah, clearly... you're not allowed to mention any of them. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Oh, man. I mean, look, look I get it. It's not like we gangbang his streams and, like, well, maybe Volblax does because he restreams Tipster sometimes. But I've never, like, pulled up Tipster's stream and intentionally sent my audience while he was live. Or maybe I have. I don't know if I want to say that. But I don't think I... I, I don't remember what? a time that I did that. You've sent your audience over. I, well, I've never done it in a way that can get me banned, but I'm sure I've, like, oh. accidentally... Oh, I'm sure accident. I pulled oh, it up on stream. What a terrible accident. Oh, why viewers are giving him well, shit. Well, look, I'm not, I'm not going to... All right. My point is I probably pulled up his stream or something, and then some people swung his chat or whatever before. That's probably happened. Yeah, I think the thing is, is, like, people need to recognize that, like, within your communities, people are going to watch other creators and, like, talk in their chat. That doesn't mean that you're doing that on purpose. Here's the only nature. one who's been blown out that, like... Everyone kind of universally said, like, all right, we're pulling support. We're getting out of there. Um, I've never really seen anyone. I guess maybe Edwin is the only other example of someone like that, where Edwin now streams to, like, six people. Yeah, but... Okay, but you, but well, nobody you... gives Edwin a hard time. What, how many trolls does Edwin get when he streams fairly regularly still? I mean, yeah, I guess the difference there is Edwin doesn't kind of poke his nose into stuff and have stupid takes to get him in trouble, right? Yeah, but he got accused of being like pedo e too. Um, yeah, but then um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, so, Edwin but... kind of stays in his own fucking lane and doesn't like right, yeah, spit on everybody, and then nobody goes and run, runs his fucking channel. I guess. Don't you think this? Like, I've never seen to... anyone cover him since. Don't you think this lends weight to some of the narratives about like the commentary community, some mafioso though, and it's like here's okay. the problem. We cover drama. Perfect example. Edwin is not in any drama. People in this community, like Boblax, really hate Edwin. But he's not running Edwin bully streams. Tipster decided... <clears throat> hold on. Coco, shut up, please. God. <clears throat> uh, Tipster, okay, decided that he wanted to translate from drama, something he already wasn't very good at, to leftist politics, something he's already worse at. I believe he was about to schedule a debate this year against Jessica Pizzle on trans minors. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> and he, now imagine how much content that you and I would have gotten if we could review Tipster talking about fucking puberty blockers and children on HRT. Imagine how much funny shit would have come out of that conversation. 
It's not like, oh, I want to go ruin Tipster's day and fuck with him. It's that every day Tipster does something dumb. Tipster does something stupid. And even when I'm not covering it, my audience is now watching it because they're checking in to see what else he's doing and they're sending it back to me. I don't need to keep tabs on Tipster. I don't have a Discord server set up where I post all of the bad things people say about him online. That's them, right? That's not me. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, sure, I get it. I mean, the thing is, it's like, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I, you know, I guess I do... I think now, having looked at some of the stuff, I do get it more, especially I did a retrospective thing and looked at all the old tips and stuff. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this guy's a fucking retarded liar, right? So <laughs> it is funny to kind of see what he does. And this new stuff now, he's going up the boogie, you know. He's a lot like Keffel. Hmm. Only I think Keffel's does it because she needs money. I, I almost, I think that's why she does this stuff, where she quits drama and then picks a fight with somebody, punches the biggest guy in the room. And then that person responds and then Keffels goes, oh, my God, why does everyone hate me for being trans? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Tipster does that, too. And it's just this this crazy victim mentality that makes it just more succulent to talk about. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Um, okay. And he's not even trans yet. <laughs> yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, he could really put, you know, you know, do you know who JMAA is? Yes, he tried to strike me and Tommy. Right, they shit eat her, right? Yeah, did you know that he... So, you hear this site CD Baby before. It's a, uh, it's like YouTube, but you have a content ID that you can just swing out over the internet for your music, and it sets you up with that, right? Right, okay, yeah. So, he intentionally sampled our live streams. Me, Keemstar, wow. Tommy, right? So, it would go into... like, And it would pop up on YouTube as like, JMAA album topic, right? Yeah. And then he was going and claiming our live streams with the with this clips that he sampled to take our chat like to try to Jesus. take our channels down. That was That's one of the insane. funniest ways anyone's ever swung at me before. I think we got his account nuked in like an hour after he tried that shit on fucking CD baby, but holy fuck dude, that was funny. I just, you know, if Tipster was a transition, I think it would be a JMAA type situation if you know what I mean. Wait, JMAA went trans? Yeah. No. Yeah, you've just misgendered really? her. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I know you care deeply about that, mate, so I just thought I'd let you know. But, uh, but yeah, oh. they're, they're like a trans-communist now. <laughs> what? Yes. Dude, Wow, okay. that's the least shit-eating communist that I know. They came up my chat the other day because I was shitting on them, so to speak, about uh, some fucking stupid shit they said. Oh, it's because... I can't remember. It's to do with Keffels. I covered their Kef beef with Keffels and they made a tweet about me. And yeah, they're in oh. Um Dude, Red Pagan stocks are rising in comparison to all these other people. I've not even followed Red Pagan. What have they been up to? I haven't either, but if we had to make a tier list of trans people we've argued with recently, I think Red Pagan's on the top. Right. <laughs> Compared to uh, the Vangelica Saab person. Not like Vangelica herself, but the what was that person's name? Who? What? Who's the person from the Vangelica Scob drama? Oh, Essence of Thought. Essence of Thought. They're definitely D tier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. One more thing on this, actually. So I pointed this out too, but I'm interested in your thoughts. So Tipster's flexing on the block. Yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, I like that. The, my favorite part of that is breaking bread with a pedo and siding with literal Nazis and bigots on Twitter is really funny. That part I like because he's like, dude, first you hung out with a pedo and then you retweeted the quartering <laughs> like, as if those are slightly comparable. But yeah, the, the block thing is really funny. Uh, Tipster has again, we've just shown he has like a kill list for every single thing, like all of his recent controversies. Every yeah. single person that we, he knows formerly and stuff like that. Um, again, I had to tweet this tweet out to my audience because no one of like the 60,000 fucking people who follow me have tipster. Um, I'm on my fourth Twitter account to read his tweets. Wait, what? You've been blocked on all accounts? Yeah, he goes on Twitter and check. He goes on my streams or whatever and sees what account I'm logged into and clips me whenever I cover him. Jesus Christ, man. He really doesn't want you looking at his tweets, does he? Hey, He blocked my Bionic Pig TV account. I don't even know about that one. Jesus, that's going really deep. 
<laughs> Dude, I have a new one. I'm going to send you what it is. It's really funny. Is You'll it, never find this. Is it a secret? All right. Yeah, you can't leak this. Otherwise, I have okay. to make a new account. Uh, hold on. I got to take a screenshot of it because I'm not logged in on PC. Um, okay. There we go. Uh, there. there we go. Chud logic. Do not leak. <laughs> That's just insane. Okay, just insane. Dude, he'll never catch me. He'll never know. No, you are. Very... I only follow leftist content creators. Like I made it look good. I think I, I can't say what the tweet was, but I I mentioned my favorite leftist content creator on there. Like it was great. Okay, very safe. I like it. Um. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And also, I guess, yeah, what what do you think of this criticism of uh, Boogie for working with EDP? I mean, I think he's retarded for working with EDP, but it is exactly what a... Like, actually, I can't tell you if... I don't know if I can tell you about this, because I don't know if Keem will, like, fucking kill me if I say it. Um, I think Boogie didn't make any money off of this. Off of what? Off of... So, Clum paid him to stand there and yell at fucking edp right hmm? and apparently he says something like absurdly nuclear in this conversation that hasn't come out yet um because i i talked about this but as far as i know the money that he made was basically spent getting there what <laughs> so i don't think he made any money and i don't think he realized it until after <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But I heard that he had to pay for his own trip to meet EDP. So, like, what's the point of getting paid X amount of dollars if you have to, like, if you're not being flown out to do this? Yeah, you Boogie said he got. Yeah, Boogie said it. He got two thousand dollars and he spent it on the trip getting there. That's crazy. And but apparently it didn't sink in until Keem's told him. He goes, "Wait, how much did you get paid? About two thousand dollars." Okay, but. How much did you spend to get there? About two thousand dollars. Oh my god, he's that bad with money that you can't even do simple things. Yes, like can't of that. yes, this guy's an animal. He's an animal. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so basically, you all the worst people are fighting. That's your take on all this. Yes, I'm assuming. dude, it's great. Okay, and you know who's winning? The audience. The audience is winning. True. Yeah, I must say, yeah, when I saw this, I was rubbing my hands together. Like uh, certain, like the J boys, because I was like, "Yeah, Wait, this isn't is it funny though." He's like, "You love Lolly He goes, "Oh, you want to talk about pedos?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like not You've a denial there. my trap card. Like, Whoa. There's not like a denial there, and like you know, no. he's clearly trying to pivot away from having to talk about the Vosh shit. Clearly, he's bothered about that. It's just the disaster. It's Dude, like, I want him to be like, well, I'm happily married while you were dating a child or something like that. And then everyone just points out to Tipster that he's sex, like he's he's attempted to. I'm not going to say he's sexed. He's probably like attempted to flirt with like 99% of women he's met online. He's like the stereotype of being a horny old man in his fucking 40s. Because he probably will never see his 80s. Um, <laughs> Dude, it feels like this is like they're both standing there with swords and they're both just repeatedly stabbing each other. You know, that's what it would look like Francis like. wielding his lightsaber. <laughs> you know, actually, no, wait, there is a video of this. You, there is a video of this. Exactly what you're saying. Um, here it is. This is it. Okay. It would be just like this if they had swords and they were fighting. What is this? Oh, woman! Queens, if she breathes, <laughs> she's a god. <thug! laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, cool. All right, listen, mate. Listen, it's good to get your insights into this because you are well. You know a lot about this shit. Stalking yeah. tipster. I'm a, I'm a tipster. I'm a tipster. Tipstorian. Oh my god, is that what it is now? <laughs> I just invented it. It's a new term. Okay. Tipstorian. There we go. Um Chud, is EDP a Democrat or a Republican? <laughs> That's true. If we find out he's a Democrat, Tipster might make excuses for him. Very true, yeah. Or if he's a lefty in some fashion. Yeah. Um 
Oh, by the way, speaking of which, I don't know if you saw this, but Progressive Victory have got Vosh at the next canvassing event. Thoughts on that? Really? Uh, not really. It makes more sense with them working with Destiny and Vosh because they're like large content creators. I don't really have a problem with Progressive Victory setting up like the Chank Uger debate or anything no, like that. No, mate, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the fact that he's got massive controversy around his neck. Oh. Don't you think that's well, a crazy yeah. thing? I just kind of assumed that Vosh just like slid back into his old position and everyone just stopped caring. Nicholas, do you understand I mean, politics? Is he going to be knocking door to door to talk? No, not no. I don't. That's the problem. If I did okay, understand let politics, me just let me just over quickly, for all okay. of you motherfuckers. The second that I'm educated on politics, that whole community is getting wiped out. But I'm not yet, so I can't say anything. Uh- <laughs> okay, so obviously, content creators have got controversies around them. Obviously, right? Yeah. Um, but with Vo, like, it's so recent and it's such a crazy thing that happened. Like. He's going to be going to support a Democratic candidate. If a Republican candidate got wind of this happening, they could get something out in the press that talks about it that could damage the image of the Democrat candidate. <laughs> well, getting Biden elected is the most important thing, and they need him for that. <laughs> yeah, but the point. But the point is that 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 may not help if it's revealed and it's spoken about in the press. I mean. Listen, that would be the funniest possible thing that could happen. What would I be mad about that? Like, okay, no, no, progressive yeah. victory, no, stop! <laughs> Don't put Vosh on the front lines. No, no, he's not. He's knocking from door to door to talk about horse porn. No. I see. Okay, no, you've that got a point great. there. It would be good content. This yeah, would be terrible, be John. Stop him! Stop that man! <laughs> I, I guess I'm looking at it more from a perspective of it's a bad move on progressive victory's part. But you're right. I should. Yeah, be but it's also a bad move to pay Wick. <laughs> they haven't been making very good moves <laughs> dude this guy's gonna get one tooth he gets one tooth every stream <laughs> they roll out what like they're like all right wick if you do three more streams on exactly the topics we choose we will finish your dental situation by the end of the summer <laughs> okay, i got a sure. molar today when i covered hitler <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Okay, mate. Well, listen, thanks for coming on. And uh, when's the next Ultimate Rate review? I got to see. Um, fuck, I have no idea. It depends on who Ultimate Rapes on Monday. I'm, expe- I'm Honestly, I think the forecast tells there'll be two more rapes next week. So, Okay, brilliant. I'm the rape weatherman. Okay, it's coming. Sounds good. <laughs> Cloudy would have cast of a rape. Peace out, gamer. Catch you there, bye.